I'll come back. 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 Should be going live on the Flutter Priest Twitch. And yeah, I see that we're going right now. Let me make sure that we are live before we do a countdown. I see I see we live might, let me make sure. Yep, we might have an ad. Um, it seems to me that we have sound and that we have film. I see the questions. I don't see our chat. That is the the nature of the beast today. Uh, so we can't see chat today and uh, we can't see drinking word. Okay. Uh, chat should should show up, but I don't know what, what we can do. Wait, there's All right. no drinking I see word. the drinking word now. You're doing good. Okay. All right. Well, then here we go. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to the Barcast, where the bar gets lower every single week. Your bartenders for this evening are Chex Notes, Blue Flam and Waffle. Fun game. Period, Blood. That's me. Schrodinger's Boner. Am I a roll of pennies, or am I a boner? I don't know. You have to stick your head in the pocket and find out. And I'm Fucker Priest. This week, aside from terrible nicknames, we have a very special guest. They're one of the kings on film fiction of OCX canon uh, characters. We have Israel Yabuki. Israel, thank you for taking the time to come join us. I'm really glad to be here. Also, king? I didn't know I was. I didn't know I was considered a king. You're a king here. You're a king to us. <laughs> Jesus, Thanks. you were spicy. I'll not to let it go to my head. <laughs> well, for those who are tuning in for the first time, hello and welcome. You can catch up on previous episodes, such as interviewing Andrea Lemon, Dusky Cat, and many more on our YouTube. We're streaming live on Twitch right now, which means that the lovely Anon Pencil is watching our chat. Pencil, what are questions we don't ask our guest? Uh, we will not be asking our guests questions like where they actually live, what their real name is, nothing that can get them doxxed, you know. Um, we will also not be asking political or religious questions, basically the usual stuff, you guys. You should know better by now. Please don't do this. Yeah, so um, in addition, we have a drinking word today. If you hear the word beast... Be sure to take a nice, healthy, responsible drink. We don't want to send someone to the hospital again. Um, so, with that said, uh, let's get to some interview questions. Israel, thank you for taking some time to join us today. Let's get started. Uh, for those who don't know who you are, who are you, and what uh, what do you do in the fandom? Well, my name is Israel Jabaki, and I'm a fan fiction writer. I started off back... Back in early October 2016, when I was only 21 years old. Very cool. Um, how did you get into being interested about MLP? Well, I have my friend John to thank for introducing me to the fandom. It took me a while to actually get get into the to actually get into the fan fandom because I was a uh, I won't lie I was a bit of a I was a bit of a jerk back in the early 2010s. Mm -hmm. Everyone can have a moment where they look back on themselves and go, oh yeah, I was a jerk back then, but hey, we're better for ourselves now. So yeah. Uh, with that said, um, to those who read your stories, uh, do you have any comments or things you'd like to say to your readers? Yeah. I know there are a lot of people out there who want to feel like they're important in life, which is why I write these stories. Make it so that they actually find the they actually find the loved ones they want they want to be with. I want them to be the stars of their own of their own reality. That and whenever I whenever I write those stories, it makes me feel good inside. It makes me feel like I'm I'm giving the people a sense of hope, a sense of satisfaction. 
Oh, I like that. I really like that. That's it's really, really nice. wholesome. Yay, wholesome. On this cast, that's not usual, so we'll take it. So, final question before we go to the questions that our listeners have asked. Um, who is your favorite pony? Oh, that's easy. Fluttershy. Fluttershy is oh, so good. That That's Priest's favorite, too. Yep, that's my favorite. That's a, that's a wrong that's a wrong answer. Change it. Oh my gosh! Oh wow! Enigma, don't be mean. I cannot help it. Fluttershy is just so cute, and she's a, and she's a to, total animal lover, and she's kind. She's caring, and she's just. I just feel like I I just feel like we click on a sort on a certain level. Yeah, I I I understand. Yeah, but she drags her hair all over the ground everywhere. Got pretty actually, hair. You no, know, I actually like long hair. Aw, cool. All right, so uh, now we have questions out on our thread. RK Striker JK5 has our first set of questions. So, outside of My Little Pony, what is your favorite franchise? Your favorite show, video game type? Uh, what's your favorite franchise? Well, aside from the usual Dragon Ball Z, there's actually there's actually this TV show called Hajime no Ippo. It's a <laughs> boxing anime. It's basically about a young a young high school student who's rescued by bull, bullies by a professional boxer named Mamoru Takamura. He takes him to a boxing gym so he can recuperate. And when he awakes, this kid he fi- he finds a love for boxing and wants to try try to become one. I think I've heard of this one before. It's getting really popular now, right? Yeah. Cool. Fun Japanese fact, Mamoru means protect. Oh, interesting. All right. Have you done any uh, fan fiction or stories that are not related to My Little Pony? Actually, yeah. I Actually, yeah. I started about a, I started about a year ago on Wattpad and started writing fan fiction about Dragon Ball Z. High school DXD. I'm also start also thinking about doing a fan fiction on Naruto. Ooh, that would be good. That's a very popular one too. You'll find a lot of readers that way. Yeah, I also noticed that on Wattpad, there wasn't a, there wasn't a lot of Disney print Disney princess stories involving a male reader. So I decided, hey, 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 maybe I should change that. Because all I saw was a bunch of reverse ge- reverse gender prince, reverse gender Disney princess stories. Now, and <laughs> I like to keep things all natural. Yeah, you got you got to be the change you want to see in the world, I guess. In yeah. the case of fan fiction, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now I think we got some questions from uh, one of your readers here. We have Sinkri up next, who says, "Hello, hello." I really enjoyed your Equestria Girls fix, so here are my Equestria Girls centric questions. Number one, what got you hooked into Equestria Girls? Mm, that would that would actually be the second the second movie, Rainbow Rocks, when they had to deal with the daz- dazzlings in the Battle of the Bands. That was a good one. Um, yeah. So then, I suppose that would be the next question: Is what's your favorite Equestria Girls movie? Probably Rainbow Rocks. Yeah, definitely. Along with the Friendship Games, that one's my favorite. So let's. But come, but come on, guys! A Dodgio and Sonata. Mm. I like it. Go, Go ahead. ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, you know, the, as as much of a fan as I am about Taco Tuesdays, I really like the uh, the Shadow Bolts. So they. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. The uh, especially the rocker girl with the green hair, lemon zest. Also, I find Sonata to be adorable when she mentions Taco Tuesdays. All right. Uh, the next question is: What is your favorite Equestria Girls forty-four minutes special? Um, let me think. I would have to. Th- I would have to say, Sunset's backstage pass. Now remind me, which one was that? 
That's the one where they where they go to the Star Swirl, Star Swirl Festival to see Pulse Crush. Oh yeah! Isn't that, isn't that the ground stay, uh, Groundhog Day episode where she's trapped in a time loop? Yeah, that one. Yeah, and no one... I, I think they're taking a couple of those timelines. She just got cra went crazy and killed everyone. All right, number four. Which Equestria Girls character do you think deserves more attention, Israel? Hmm. I would have to say... Wallflower Blush. Wallflower Blush. Now, that one's a very popular one. Or, or needs more attention, I should say. Because uh, yeah. she was she was the um, the bad character in the fourth movie, right? Yeah, Forgotten Friendship. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. The fourth movie was of Everfree, at least favorite. Yeah. Um, Does she Wallflower, need more attention, um, though? Well, she is, ah. Wallflower Blush is getting more and more fan art and fan fiction of her, and I, I can see that being a good thing, um, yeah. because she's an antagonist that maybe isn't as popular as some of the other villains, you know, like um, this one. Her montage? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the next question is why do you think Equestria Girls got all the hate initially? That's a good question. I'm not sure. I think I think probably because it wasn't given a proper proper ending like it's uh, the original My Little original My Little Pony show. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Or maybe the character develop, or maybe there wasn't enough enough character development going around. I could see that. Like maybe they were relying too much on the original show. Yeah, I first could. one was essentially a Twilight Isekai into an anime world. Let's mm. let's be very real right now. Yeah, <laughs> nothing nothing differentiated this community for a little while, and that between just any other anime trash. Trash I love. That is. I thought people were just upset that, you know, uh, Flash Century, you know, Brad took everyone's waifu. <laughs> um, the next question... Think... Oh, go oh. ahead, please. I didn't mean to cut you off. My opinion on Flash, he's an okay character, but I just don't ship him with... I just don't ship him with Sunset or, or Twilight. It just doesn't really sit well with me. That's I fair, but... I... I think that's fair. I wonder, I wonder what his parents do, because he has a Mustang. I mean, Flash is like one of those blank slate characters that you can really ship or not ship with anyone. And I think that's either why people like him or don't like him. Sort of like Spike in a way, but Spike has other issues. Spike has many other issues. I, yes. I will agree with that. Mm -hmm. All right. Um... The next question from Sinkri is, what is your least favorite Equestria Girls character? That would be Timber Spruce. Timber Who Spruce? Who was that again? Priest loves That's Timber Spruce. Spruce. Oh, I don't like Timber. Then we looked it up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really like that guy. He, he's, way too full, he's way too full of himself, and he'll... Plus, he only, he only uses the term of size just so he can look... Don't look cool and try to impress everyone. He doesn't, he doesn't do it just for the sake, sake of liking science itself. Whatever he and remember that one. Uh, remember that one short where they thought a sea monster was coming out of the coming off to the beach. What, what was this person's reaction? He screams like he screams like a little girl and hides behind Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I'm thinking to myself. What the hell does Twilight see in this, see in this guy? Which is That's why a difficult I developed, question. Which is why I developed, which is why early on I developed my own original character suitable for Twilight. Oh. Yeah. I didn't make, but I didn't make him to be, but I didn't make him to be this big strong strong guy. I made him to be more. Intelligent, like he has that education potential, but he's more humble about it. Mm. Mm. Uh, humility is a good um, trait. 
Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so number seven is, in your head canon, what happens to the original Sunset Shimmer? Mm. I mean, like the Pony version or the, the original Quest Street Girls version? Uh, I think they mean the Pony version. Hmm. I think, let's see, I think maybe after, uh, I think maybe after, like, spending gear, years on so, so many adventures with her friends in the human world, she decides, she decides to, she decides to settle down, down in the country so, somewhere, particu particularly at the uh, ca Castle of Friendship, where Twilight once, once stayed at. Yeah, and there is a kind of reference to her. I think in one of the comics, we see a Sunset Shimmer at playing at a concert in Equestria. She could be like the one of the entertainers. Yeah, I'm sure she would have access to a lot of music and different kind of stuff from, uh, you know, like the origin from the from the other side that uh, would entertain Equestria. Yeah. Uh, number eight is, and to top it all off, how would you end the Equestria Girl series since it got canceled before season three? Let's see. I would pro. Let's see. I would probably have have it to where the girl. I would probably have it to where the girls over. Girl girls are about to have their high. The girls have to defeat have defeated this, um, this evil and. Enemy, like I'm talk like I'm talking world conquering e evil, and they've also seal sealed away the crack in the set statue where all the magic has been magic has been coming lo loose. They get the diplomas and they all go separate way ways while also being able while also still keeping in contact. Yeah, I think that'd be good. All right, now then, we've got our first question from the chat. Oh, man, it's Mugany. All right, Mugany likes to ask uh, ask some... Uh, weird questions. Weird questions. That's a great word for a pencil. Uh, he asks, would you rather eat a leaky ass or drink period blood? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it's definitely weird, uh... I'm gonna go with the. <laughs> I don't think I can stomach either. That's you know what? That's fair. I think I, that's I, really fair. They're both awful. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to Alex underscores questions now. Alex is one of the moderators in our chat. It looks like he has some fun questions for you. Number one, what's going on? Uh, not much. It's just uh, chilling here in my room, having having a video p pause on my TV, and my and my little dog chilling out next to me. Oh, what kind of dog? Maltese poodle. Ah, boy or what's, girl? What's? It's, it's like a little fl fluffy cotton ball. Aww. Aww. What What's their name? Sure. His name is Bentley. Bentley. Bentley, that's a nice name. That's a good name. We we love learning about cats. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've had Bentley since high school. Oh, an old an older pet then. He's still really energetic. Yeah. He, uh huh. He's about uh, he's about to turn thirteen. And yeah, he still acts like he's young as springtime. Oh, that's wonderful. I hope many happy years for him. Yeah. Uh, the next question is, have you ever seen a ghost? And if so, how big was it? Well, actually, yeah, there was one, there was this one time I saw a ghost. It was around two, I recall a vague memory when I was two, two years old. I saw this, I saw a strange silhouette of a woman upstairs in my grandma's, in my grandma's hallway. I waved, I waved to her and... She waved back before, 
floated to the to the right side side and disappeared. Whoa. Yeah, and when my grandma or my mom picked me up to carry me upstairs, it was gone. Well, that's kind of cool. That's one of your first memories. <laughs> Holy crap. That's, yeah. that's a crazy first memory to have. That's pretty cool. Uh-huh. Number three is what's the secret to happiness? Mm, secret to happiness is don't don't let li don't let life's pro problems constantly get get in the way of what you want what you want to do do like find so find something that really makes you happy whether it's through music or video games or TV show TV shows or any, anything at all that re that really makes your mind really makes your mind want under into happiness yeah I think that's good advice. That's really nice. Yeah. Number four. What's the worst thing you've ever had in your mouth? Worst thing. Mm -hmm. I don't. Let's see. I think the worst thing I had in my mouth. When this kid threw sand, sand at me when I was three. Oh, you had sand in your mouth. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, yeah, rough and coarse. It gets everywhere. And it gets everywhere. Yeah, yeah. we all knew that one was coming. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah. Number five. How many hen's eggs would you suppose you've eaten in the last year? Hmm. I just. Um, there. Mm, I'm not sure. Okay. Lost uh, track. That that is fair. There are a lot of there are a lot of eggs to be eaten. Why did it specify hen's eggs? Like, what other eggs are you eating? Oh, duck eggs. I like duck eggs. <laughs> Fraggles is up next. Number one, would you ever consider dating a non-human, non-anthro pony? So, like a pony from the show. Yes, yes, one hundred percent, yes. That's fair. That's fair. I think that was the fastest question for you. I don't. I don't think there was any hesitation there. You were just like, "Yep, I know the answer to this one." Number two, how much wood would a woodchuck choke if a woodchuck could choke? Would. <laughs> I that, hate that. that I hate that. That freaking... That freaking tongue twister, man. Okay. Uh, number three. What are your thoughts on Generation 5? Generation 5. It's got potential. It also... And, uh, I actually like Izzy and Pip. Yeah, I so I, like that. Go ahead, Enigma. What about Misty? Misty's great. I haven't, I haven't gotten around to see see Misty just yet because uh, sometimes I procrastinate when it com when it comes to watching a new show. I do too. I haven't seen nearly enough of that season. I haven't seen much much of Misty myself, but Enigma really likes her. He is a treasure. <laughs> Look, I, all I'm saying is I'd be a tier one uh, Pip sub. So you only get her hoof picks. Correct. Oh, I thought tier one would be the highest. All right. Maybe, I don't know. The next question from Fraggles. Oh, man, Fraggles. How horny are you really? <laughs> Psychology question. <laughs> slightly slightly that's fair that's fair all the smut you write it says otherwise <laughs> that is true you do write you do write a lot of porn so that would be a surprising answer for some people 
Number five, what is your favorite random true story? Mm. I think that would have to that would have to be Balto. Balto is a very good one. Balto is a fascinating true story. Do you like the um, Disney movie version, or was it Disney? Was it Disney? Oh, Universal. Yeah. Universal movie. Universal. Universal. Okay. Right, when they were still doing that, yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was a true story. It was like it was against diphtheria, right? The diphtheria yeah. outbreak. Yeah, and ba yeah. yeah, Balto delivered the antitoxin medicine and saved all those kids. There's a disease called diphtheria. Yeah. Yes, there there is yeah. a disease called diphtheria. The question is, though, historically, was the was the female dog always that hot? Yeah, absolutely. She was always that hot. We know that. Hell yeah. <laughs> Universal uh, dedicated historical accuracy. It was her and Nala, and I don't know if there was a third one that, like, you know, cultivated a future generation of furries. All right, next question. And last question from Freggles is, of the bar cast, who would be most likely to seduce you? Mm, not sure. That's fair. All right. The next set of questions Freckles. is from my favorite film fiction user, Anon Pencil. She's the best. Oh, hey. Thank you. The best. She is the best. The best. Number one. What would you whisper into a vagina? Oh, I'd probably, I'd probably say, probably say, oh, open wide, I'm about to eat you up. <laughs> and what would it whisper back? Mm. How about give it to me French, baby? <laughs> not bad, not bad at all. Good Very time. good. Um, the next question is bees. What's that? Bees, like like the little yellow things that make honey. Bees. I just wrote it as a question. What do you think of bees? Mm, I think they're doing. Mm, I think I think they're doing they're doing a pretty good pretty good job with, with all the honey. But I prefer to stay away stay away from them. I do not want to feel the I feel the I do not want to feel their stingers on me. Yeah, those hurt. That's fair. So if you're not wasps. If you had to choose maybe one or two bees, a, f a bunch of bees, or a whole lot of bees, how many bees would you choose? Probably one or two. That's fair. One or two bees. You're, you're a one or two bee type of guy. I respect that. And now the next question is, what is the most difficult kind of pornography to write? Hmm. Let me think. I probably, pro probably, uh, probably answer from Warfare because you can't act, can't actually me measure a stallion's donk. You can't actually me measure a, st a stallion's donk oh, without having to picture it in your mind or look it up. <laughs> yeah. Fan animation. Oh that's yeah, fair. <laughs> that's really fair. That's really fair. All right, Flam and Warper's up next, as festive as usual. Um, oh god, I, I need to change that. You are very festive in that picture. You have a Christmas hat on still. I haven't seen you that festive since 1941. I forgot. I actually even put a little gingerbread house there too. You I did. Forgot. He's looking at it. <laughs> forgot about bad that him. not bad for him <laughs> number one is tell us about the first clop story you ever wrote how did it go and how did people receive it 
Mm, let's see. My first, my first club. We're talking about uh, we're talking about the first story story of my mental waifu series, which is the Twilight Sparkle one. And when I first when I first wrote it. <laughs> Well, people kept say, saying it was a little rushed, but they like, but they liked it anyway. I had more, had more dislikes on on the story than I had than I had likes at the at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes people on fan fiction just really don't like stories that are not safe for work, but that's okay. As you see, there's a lot of people that also really like them. Yeah, I was still inexperienced at the time because uh, I was still trying to get you. Still trying to get used to the whole writing clock fix thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Up next is, do you find it more difficult to write um, smut, or do you find it more difficult to write standard, uh, just, you know, slice of life romance? Mm, su <laughs> surprisingly enough, it's e surprisingly enough, it's e it's easier to write to write re regular romance stories because uh, at the, if there's no telling how because there's no telling how long you want the you want this uh, sex scene to last to last like if you want it to be super long or if it's super short or in between it's hard to measure how lo how long it should be. No, I think that's fair. But, yeah. Uh, Johnny Bravo, 1480, is up next, who says, number one, what is your favorite background pony? Derpy! Oh, that's a good choice, the classic! Derpy is good. I think we all agree on that one. Derpy is precious. No, can, con can confirm, got a couple stories with her. Yeah, I have we, hold on, have all of us written a story with Derpy in it? I've written, I've written a story that included her, but she wasn't yeah. the main focus. I think Pencil has one of the best ones. No. I think, I, I, think, I, think, I think Milk agrees, too. Oh, no. I there being one of my stories. Yeah, you did? Okay. Mm -hmm. Which Which story was it? That would be the sequel of Heated, of Heated Harem Fun Time. Awesome. Well, if any Derpy fans out there, you know which story to go to now. <laughs> yeah. All right, the next question is, what is the meaning of life? The meaning of life. Really, it's all, it's all about fun. It's all about fun. It's really all up to, it's really all up to you and how you decide to live your life. Mm -hmm. Like, you'll have, there are certain life choices you'll have to make along the way. And, you know, you won't know which one is the right decision and which one's the wrong decision. So, and whether whether these choices affect you in a good way or a bad way or not, not that's a not not. Well, <laughs> it'd be tough to know. So yeah, it's tough. probably just you know just take it a day at a time and. Don't take it too seriously, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You can or you can choose to make get a day at a time, or you can choose to live if you like the way you want to, like live your life to the full, fullest. Have fun, have fun. Do do something exciting, or if it's or if it doesn't suit you, do something. Do do something that's uh, do something that's more peaceful and quiet, quiet and stuff like that. It really depends. It really depends on your mindset. Well said. Number three is, do you think, what is better, boobs or butts? Ooh. <laughs> Hard question. I like, them, I like them both equally, but I'm going to have to say... Gonna have to say... Booty. Booty. Booty, yeah. I can respect that. 
And the next question is, if you only had one day left to live, what would you do? I would... Pr I would probably... I would, I would probably... I'd probably want to get into contact with a certain girl I know in... Uh, that my that my uh, let's see. I probably want to get in touch with uh, this girl I like and tell tell her that I had that I had fun and tell her that it's been fun, fun, but all things must come to an end. And that uh, I hope and I'll wish her a happy life, and then I'll kiss her. Aww, that's Aww. nice. Next and question. Let's, oh, go ahead. Go on. And then it's and then it's celebrate well time I have left with the, with a nice hot tasty pizza. Yeah, pizza. Man, now I want pizza. How dare you? Now I want pizza. Be best topping on the pizza though. What is it? Oh yeah. What's the best pizza topping? Pepperoni. Pepperoni. Oh, That's pepperoni. my favorite. Extra cheese for me. Extra cheese and pepperoni for me. That those are two yeah. of my favorites. My pizza, my pizza boneless. Enigma, why? Number five. What is the best friendship is magic episode? I think I'd have to. I think I'd have to choose. Simple ways. Ooh, why? That's such an interesting choice. Because, because it really, because it really clicks with me. Like if so, if you're in love with someone who's actually in love with so, someone else, you shouldn't have to change. You shouldn't have to change yourself just so you can appeal, so you can appeal to them. You gotta stay true to yourself. Be true to who you, to who you really are by nature. Yeah. My favorite, my favorite scene of that was when Verdi went, "I love being covered in mud." I love being covered <laughs> in mud. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. She looked like she was really broken. <laughs> That's accurate. Now we have questions from Prince of Darkness. Uh, we've covered a couple of these questions, so we're going to move down to how do you view life? Ooh. I view, I like to view life as a, I like to view life as a one peaceful, like it's one peaceful day, day after the after another. But the same old, same old, same old, more ha more havoc reported on the new news. Bird, birds singing outside, outside my window. Kids playing in the. Kids playing in the park. Yeah. Like I try not to let, like I try not to let life's problems affect me. I like to think of my, I like to think of myself to uh, go with the flow. That's fair. Going with the flow is a really good way to go through life. If you're always fighting against it, it can be really stressful, huh? Yeah. And you know what? Speaking of going with the flow, we're about halfway through all the questions that we have for today. So we're going to take a very quick break to talk about our sponsor. Um, you know, Flam, you've had a lot of interest in our sponsor lately. Did you know about Red Wings Horse Sanctuary? I've heard a little bit about them, yes. It turns out we have been uh, working with uh, Red Wings Horse Sanctuary for about over three years now, sponsoring their horses. Uh, thanks to your guys' donations to our Patreon and to the Twitch chat, uh, we've been able to support Little Bit, a horse that they have at Red Wings Horse Sanctuary in mid-California in the United States. Um, Red Wings is able to sponsor uh, horses by getting their hoofies cleaned, uh, being able to give them hay, and helping them socialize with people so that way uh, they can uh, be rescued from bad situations, uh, mean owners, and things like that. Um, they're also able to do a lot of good for the community and, and uh, play with kids sometimes. So well, that's just awesome. That's a, ni that's a nice uh, little bit of information there. Yeah, you can. Uh, 
I heard, I heard you, Flam. I heard that joke. <laughs> so if you would like to consider donating to our Patreon or even donating directly to Red Wings Horse Sanctuary, we may even have something fun in the works, being able to meet one of the horses. So uh, thank you very much for your time and give us your money. Uh, more than that, um, I'll tell you what. Hey, Flam. Yes? Would you be interested in going and petting little bit in person? Going and petting little bit in person? How scandalous. Well, but yes. If you if if you play your cards right, Flam, in the coming months, that might just happen. Should viewers stay tuned to try to find out if that's going to happen? Yes. I think we can work something out with a uh, little bit. Yeah, we'll have Sli to find slide him a slide him a few uh, things of hay and see what he says. Yeah. Yep. We will we will see how that goes, but uh, stick around and pay attention over the next coming weeks. So we'll let you know if that happens. All right, we're going to our next question from Prince of Darkness now. Number six: If you could call one person in your phone, who would you call and why? Um, that. That would have to be my, my Uncle Richard. Aww. Why your Uncle Richard? Because I got... Because I got my first... Because I got... Because I got some from my from work other than my other than my paycheck and... Uh, oh. From... I've never, I've never actually... Uh, Okay, what I got at work was my W-2. Ah, Congratulations. very nice. Of course, doing taxes is no fun, but hopefully it goes easily for you. Hopefully it goes easily for all of us. Yeah. yeah. Number seven, where's your favorite place to go when you have a day off? Let's see. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes I'll go... Sometimes I'll stay the week. Sometimes I'll stay the weekend over at my over at my mom's house and watch over the house while she's out partying with her friends. That sounds fun. Being able to have the house to yourself, I'd order a pizza. Well, now, because pizza's <laughs> on all our minds right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you have a chance to order pizza then again soon. <laughs> Number eight. What made you want to be a writer? I guess it all start started a few years ago when uh, when I had no, nothing else to do. I was stream, streaming YouTube, YouTube for all, for all sorts of videos, and then I stumbled upon this audio drama called Daughter of Discord, which was made by this art artist named Disney Fanatic. Hmm. I decided I had nothing better to do, so I decided to so I decided to watch it. All the shippings were. Really to my, while some of the shippings were not really to my like, liking, I found the story to be quite entertaining. And I thought to myself, hey, she, if she can make a story like this, maybe I can try it too. And that's what, that's, and that's when my, that's when my first, first film fiction, that's when my film fiction, fiction writing days began. Did no. you find it really hard at first, or did it come pretty easily to you? It was, it was hard at first. Mm. Do you no, have any, I have to work. Oh, do, do you have any good advice for people who are maybe scared of trying it the first time as well? Yeah, when you want to, when you want to write a story, you gotta make sure you, have, you gotta make sure that you have have a story for for it. As well, mm -hmm. as well as some characters and what characters and whatnot. Also, if there's going to be characters, you also want to have per some perfectly good dialogue in there too. Like for, like for instance, there's a, like for instance, some people some people like to draw par some people when they draw when they write paragraphs, they usually usually include some dialogue between characters and they mash. They mash them together in one big jumbled mess. Mm-hmm. That's a mistake I did when I when I first began. 
It told me that I had to set and separate the dialogues of each character by one space. Yep. Oh, yeah. I know some people that's a big problem when they first start out. That's good advice. Yeah. And apparently that's a big, that's a big issue on Wattpad because there's some good stories that I want to read on there, but they can't they can't make good good uh they can't they can't exactly write good good dialogue good dialogue can be really hard to find in fan fiction just everyone's learning how to write stories well mm-hmm. yeah all right the next question that we have is what is your favorite movie or tv show and why favorite movie or tv show I think my favorite, let's see, my favorite, favorite would have to be Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon? Right. Are you watching the new Pokemon that, that's coming out with Ash's last season? No, no I like, no, I mostly watch, watch the, er, the earlier generations, like Generation 1. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I... I still get a little sad when Butterfree has to leave. Yeah, that always hits me hard. Yeah. What what is your favorite Pokemon? Hmm. Oh no. That's a good question. Mm. I think I'll probably have to go with Gallade. Gallade oh, yeah. is really good. I'm a fan of Gardevoir. Yeah. I like Scizor and Haunter. Haunter's really good. I like Basic. I like Eevee. Eevee's <laughs> really good, too. Aw, cute little Eevee. Yeah. Up next, who in your life has inspired you the most and why? Inspired me how? Just, just uh, to be a happy and uh, healthy person. Oh, well, that would have to be Tobey Maguire. Really? The ori- yeah, the original Spider-Man. That's He's really a pretty cool, cool dude. Yeah. No, I think the original Spider-Man was the Japanese one with the crotch. Mm. Enigma, no. Bad Enigma, Enigma, why would you do corner. this? Go to your corner, Enigma. Yeah, no, but like, whenever he's crawling on the walls, all you see is his bulge. Enigma, go to your corner. Go, go. Why are you looking at his bulge, bro? <laughs> Harlan Books is up next. Uh, if you had to pick your favorite to least favorite main six in order, who would you choose? Favorite to least favorite. I would say... Fluttershy, Pinkie Pie, Applejack... Twilight, Rarity, Rainbow Dash. Good. The Rainbow call. Dash is last on the list. Well, let, well let's face it. Rainbow, Rainbow Dash is still kind of full, full of herself. Like she's a bit of, a, she's a bit of a eagle maniac, especially during, especially during the mysterious murder well episode. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's very true. And let's not forget. Let's not forget that she hide. Let's not forget the fact that she tried to hide the fact that. She, let's not forget that she hates pies, but she, she hates pies, and she kept chuck, chucking them away every time Pinkie Pie tried to offer them to her. Yeah, I so, love do you, pie. Do you remember that episode where she did industrial sabotage for her turtle? I remember that. She tried to make sure that winter never came just so the turtle wouldn't sleep. So, so much unemployment just because of her. Literally became like an eco-terrorist just to <laughs> not let her, her little guy hibernate. Her funny little guy who she has magic slippers with. Mm-hmm. She was fucking tank. Anyway. Did he you write a story where he fucks his slippers? Uh, Priest did write that. I did. All right. The next question is, 
Would you rather fight one horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses? Hmm. That's a good question. I think I like a thing. I think I can take. I think I take on the uh, the lag because something tells me a a horse sized duck might might peck at me and swallow me for dinner. A horse sized duck would be terrifying. Those things are already strong. A giant one would be scary. Indeed. The last I, thing I want is to become, become its appetizer. Yeah, Same. I I could just see one corkscrew punch and I would just be done for. Do ducks even have bite force? Uh, yeah, no, they, they do. do. Oh, God, they do. Uh, yes. If you've never been bitten by a duck, you wouldn't know. But the moment you're bitten by a duck, I assure you, they have bite force. Okay, so if it was horse size, it would be a problem. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, it, yeah. It would, it would swallow you right down. Mm -hmm. All right. The next question is... What is the craziest, most exotic, most impressive ham sandwich you can conceive of? Yeah, what would you put on the, the weirdest ham sandwich? Mm. Good question. That's it. Probably some... Uh... Some le lettuce, tomato, tomatoes, and some ma mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, and uh, probably some cheese, cheese in it, I think. I don't know. Yeah, that sounds that like a very normal good. ham sandwich. That sounds like a very edible and nice ham sandwich. I would eat that sandwich. Yeah. Next question is, is there anywhere in the world you'd really like to visit? Yeah, that would be Tokyo, Japan. That would be Ooh. so cool. What would you want to see in Tokyo? Mm, I can mm, Surprisingly, I kind of want, kind of want to visit, kind of want to visit, uh, visit some of the. Uh, I don't know, maybe some of the anime stores they got there. Oh, like some of the um, some of the places where they have the figurines and the like pillows and wall hangings and stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah they've got a lot of good stores for that. They have arcades too, you know, where you can like win the figurines. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Little claw games. Uh, I want to go to those islands that are full of rabbits and cats. Um, most of them you're not allowed to go to to preserve the rabbits and cats, you know. No, I see videos of people going there all the time, so I'll find a way. You gotta get special like appointment, but I'm sure you could. Hey, I'll go anywhere you guys want in Japan as long as I can get some sushi and some ramen. I yeah. love ramen and sushi. Uh, Israel, ramen is amazing. Do you like ramen? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I have ramen. I have ramen sometimes. That's I fair. I love it. So tasty. Uh, how old do you have to be before you become old? Mm. Is 30 old? Is 40 old? How old is old? I'd have to say 35. 35 30, is old. 35 is old. Well, okay. There we go. I, I, I don't have too much longer. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, the next question <laughs> is from Enigmatic Otaku. The question is, Zakora, who is her best ship? If you had to put someone in a romantic relationship with Zakora, who would you choose? Hmm. I had to choose... It'd have to be... 
I probably choose Big Mac. Big Mac and Zakora. You know, I kind of like that shit because Big Mac doesn't say a whole lot and Zakora says so much it all rhymes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that they all they already shipped Big Mac with Sugar Bell, but I just feel I just feel like Big Mac and Zakora they just click. Yeah, I can um, see that. Yeah. Oh, late, lately, I'm imagining, you know, Celestian Zakora, because I realized that Zakora's swirl cutie mark is actually a sun. Well, here, here's a question for you. Uh, how many words rhyme with yup? Cup. Cup. Um, stop. Yeah, there's, there's not many words that rhyme with yup. It would be very interesting to hear them have a conversation. I, I also feel she's a lot older than him, too. I think so, too. I think that... How old do you think Zakora yep. is? <laughs> Look me in the eyes, and hear the tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise. I hate you, Flam. Yup. <laughs> yup. Alright, we only have two more questions left in the chat. Hey, uh, right. Number one, uh, the next two are from Cringe Enjoyer 69 Nice. Beautiful Quite a name. name. Quite a name, bud. Quite a name. Um, cake or pie? I like cake. cake What's is your favorite good. type of cake? Especially chocolate cake. Chocolate oh. cake, okay. You can't beat the classics. Chocolate cake is pretty wonderful. And then the next question, last question of the day, is... Quite the last question. <laughs> how many war crimes do you think the main six have committed? We already have industrial sabotage up there. <laughs> I would, I wouldn't know. I, I wouldn't know. I didn't keep track. I didn't keep track of all the, of all their, all their screw ups. So probably a few at least, huh? Some counts that they were, uh, you know, daring do for a while. Not daring do. What was that? Mer 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 well. Are you doing okay, Enigma? What was that? I'm Mexican. I yeah. Hear what what else? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, uh, yes, because that explains a lot. <laughs> it does, actually. Well. Yeah, what else? You know, on, on that note, we're out of... Oh, 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 we have three more questions. We, we have three more questions from Alex. Okay. Alex, this is apparently a very important question, Alex. The you know what? One. Thank you, Alex. I, I, I can't believe how we didn't ask this question before. Um... The, the question is, would you rather fuck one duck or one horse? <laughs> <laughs> Why this is important to Alex, but apparently it is. Uh. Don't, don't, don't female ducks have, like, false vaginas? We're not going to talk about that today, Enigma. I'm going to go with the horse. That's you know fair. what? That's we are, fair. We are fans of My Little Pony. Let's do it. Yeah. The, the next question is, what rhymes with penis? Genius. Yep. Because sure. your entire shared genus likes penis. Got him. That, I mean, that's... That, I can see the, the Zakora rhyme right now. Or you didn't. Venus. You you couldn't see me, Venus, but I just yeah. dabbed at my computer. Venus is a good one. Now the last question is: Kill, fuck, marry between berries, bananas, and legumes. Legumes are like beans. Mm. Let me think. What are my options? Berries, bananas, or beans? Mm. 
Kill the beans. Kill the beans. Kill the beans. Are you going to marry the bananas or the berries? Well, I'll, marry, I'll marry the berries. There we All go. All right. And then Very we're good. fucking the bananas. And you know what's bananas? There's no more questions. So wow. with that said, um, Israel, our final question that we ask is what sort of stories, what do you have coming down the pipe? What are you, what are you doing right now? What are you writing next? I'm working on my, I'm working on my next commission for one for one of my, uh, one of my readers. It's a sequel to oh. the Hot Tub Treatment story. Ooh. Ooh. Well, if you're a fan of that, you guys better tune in and see what they've got going on on their fate on the on their film fiction. And uh, what's your name on film fiction? Israel Yabuki. There we go. That's how you find him? Go check them out. Go sub, uh, Go follow them. And that's all the time we have for today. Um, your bartenders for this evening have been a non -pen well, well, oh. well, let's say thank you for joining us, uh, Israel. Hope you had a great time. Do you have any final messages for your readers? Actually, yeah, I do. Okay. It's something I, it's something I say at the, end of, at the end of each chapter and story, story I write. Good. Thank you for your patience and support. Be sure to stay tuned for the next stories and chapters to come in the future. And remember, remember, remember to always keep on bronying on. And I'll see you next time, Happy Pony. Keep That's bronying on. Yeah. All right. Then your bartenders this evening have been a non-pencil. Goodbye, everybody. Enigmatic Otaku. I was a roll of pennies all along. Slam and Warford. Unfortunate. We had our great guest, Israel Yabaki. Thank you, everyone. And my name is Flutter Priest. Keep bronying on, everybody. Every Bye. pony. Oh, I messed it up. <laughs> That's all, folks.